Hello. This video is about ETL pipeline in Airflow. Apache Airflow is a popular open source workflow management platform. Many data teams also use Airflow for their ETL pipelines. In this video, we review how to use Airflow ETL operators to transfer data from Postgres to BigQuery with ETL and DLT paradigms. Airflow used to build ETL and DLT pipelines. The feature overlap on DOES and TSPOP here, it also works the other way around. Methods to perform Airflow ETL. Method 1. Using Airflow as a primary ETL tool, making use of custom code to perform an ETL job is one such way. Airflow works on the basis of a concept called operators. Operators denote basic logical blocks in the Airflow ETL workflows. It could be anything from the movement of a file to complex transformations. Method 2. Execute an ETL job using a no-code data pipeline platform. Hevo Hevo Data is an automated data pipeline platform that can move your data from MISCL to Snowflake very quickly without writing a single line of code. It is simple, hassle-free, and reliable. Performing an Airflow ETL job involves the some steps that are Step 1. Preparing the source and target environment Step 2. Starting the Airflow web server Step 3. Creating a connection to S3 Step 4. Creating a Redshift connection Step 5. Creating the DAG file Step 6. Triggering the job and monitoring the results. Here are a quick demo of ETL pipeline that have some task scheduling. In this ETL pipeline contains the script to create ETL pipeline which loads the messages and categories data sets, merges the two data sets, cleans the data, stores it in a SQLite database. The goal of the project is to classify the disaster messages into categories. In this project, I analyzed disaster data to build a model for an API that classifies disaster messages. Through a web app, the user can input a new message and get classification results in several categories. The web app also displays visualizations of the data. Here are some architecture of airflow. <laughs> 